ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக எபிசோட் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ டீல்ஸ் வித் சம்பிரதாயம் அண்ட் ட்ரெடிஷன்ஸ் த நீட் ஃபார் எ குல குரு அண்ட் அ குல தெய்வம் இன் ஆர் லைஃப்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் யூ மீன் பை ட்ரெடிஷன்ஸ் ஒன் எ ப்ராக்டிஸ் பை எ ஃபேமிலி விச் ஹேட் ரிமைண்ட் for time immemorial to a tradition which has been sustained through generations by sheer practice three one which casts an influence an impact on our mind body and our surroundings one which instills faith and belief one which leads to love commitment obedience and the desire to perpetuate and pass it on to the next generation sampradayam when we deal when we say so the foundational stones of sampradayam remains to be the family nucleus temples and spiritual mats these three form the source for sampradayam so any human being who is associated with these three institutions who has identified himself or herself with these three institutions will or will be bound to practice sampradaya at some point of time in life when we say sampradaya the root seeds for sampradaya remains to be the kula guru and the kula deva for every family when we say kula guru and kula deva it is these two seeds which enables us to remain united as one family unit all of us would have seen would have done it and would be doing it as a matter of practice going to the kula deva temple and offering a worship together as a family together as a clan to perpetuate that practice in through the next generations therefore unity of thought unity of practice an idea to give and take and to follow what ancestors had done forms the basis of a kuladeva prarthana no family does it alone nobody goes to do kuladeva prarthana as 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 a single unitary practice it's always done collectively and it's the firm belief that a kuladeva would feel very happy when the de- devata sees the entire clan present before it therefore the root for sampradaya is kuladeva prarthana same is the case of kula guru when we say when a, when a family and an individual associates themselves with a kula guru the practice inculcated in the form of worship in the form of the devotion performed in the form of the samarpanams and the kaikaryams performed by the ancestors when a kula guru visits their village the sampradayam and the traditions that get followed gets captured nurtured and it is passed down to the next generation therefore there is a continuity of practice so these two a devata when we say form of worship the first and the principal form of worship for any family has to be their kuladev when we say a guru the first and the foremost guru for anyone will be their kuladev and once you get your kula guru 
then you don't have to go in search of anything else in life. So these two seeds are very important. Then we have several practices in Sanatana Dharma, piercing the ears. It does so much good. It, it they say it brings serenity to the mind. It solves problems relating to hiranya. It regulates menstrual cycles. Drawing a kolam with rangoli, color, various colors, how bright they are, how does it do good to eyes? People have done research. Fasting. Even recently there was a talk that if someone can fast for 20 days in a year, then it produces anti-cancerous properties. Therefore, eating through the hands, it does good bacteria, gets inside and kills bad bacteria. So don't use spoons. So several of our practice, eating on a banana leaf, taking the uh, three types of spices in the early in the morning, we can keep on multiplying it. Everything has a significance. Everything has a relevance to our life. Therefore, whatever our family has been doing, in the, there may be some aberrations in the practice which would have intruded into this, into the practicing systems. But the idea is to find that out and remove. Idea is not to stop the practice. One who stops following the traditions will become a mindless individual, will become a materialistic individual and one is then therefore not assured of peace or tranquility. Sampradaya and traditions form the foundation for human life. Shri Guru Pyo Dhamma.